So Nomad is now getting ready for their pitch, and I think they're practicing a little bit. And we'll just watch a little bit of how they develop their practice routine. Are you, are you just a prop? You're just a pretty face. No. So from there, we decided to look at what's the broader market. We determined in the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics that, in fact, there are 50 million people in management positions. If even 25% of those people travel on a quasi-regular basis for business, that gives us a potential audience of 12.5 million people. If we can capture even 1% of that market share, Nomad Desk is on track to become an almost $4 million company in just two years. Now, what do we plan on doing with Nomad? We were thinking of going with some slightly alternative distribution channels. Think of this, you're sitting in your airplane seat and you pull out Sky Mall magazine. Nomad Desk would fit in perfectly with the high-end travel accessories that you find in that. Based on our research, we anticipate that the Nomad Desk can be, uh, I've done this something entirely wrong, or the Nomad Desk can be manufactured for roughly $10. Based on our market research and discussions with folks here, we've decided on a price point of roughly $30, um, which again would fit in nicely with the product lines at wherever you are. And we would love to talk a little bit more about the it's a pretty face they've got up there, and you look concerned. <laughs> it is about one, only one person or one group winning tonight, isn't it? Yeah. Do you have a pretty face on your group? Uh, you look like you could do it. Uh, we, we just have a good product. Yeah. <laughs> now, the um, what, we're about an hour and a half away from yeah, lunch? Yeah, it's coming up quick. Uh, how does it feel with your group? You you feeling pretty good? I'm feeling pretty confident. And the... We have the, a working product out there, and um, yeah. So uh, what was the what was the name? This is a uh, Eat Drink It. And what's the website? www. Uh, eat Drink. E a t d r i n k. Dot i t. I t. So this is a mobile web app. So oh. you should uh, pull up this link on your phone. Now, when with the the type of people you're dealing with here, I'm seeing a lot more women than I would have expected in a business startup thing. And more artists. What, what is your background? Um, I've been doing design and business. So, yeah, on the art side. Well, you're kind of both sides then, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to go both ways? <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> so do you think that women and artsy type people now are being embraced more in the business and startup world? I think always. Um, design is one of the factors that really differentiates a product. and you know, improves user experience. So, yeah, that's important. And in terms of male, female, really doesn't matter. If you have a good idea and good expertise, you can make a difference. What, uh, of this this whole weekend, uh, yeah. did you have any aha moments or feel like there was something particularly that was driving home to you as far as something that that you need to work more on or that you found was nuanced about this experience? Um, Everything's been going by way too fast, so mm. I think I'll definitely have those aha moments uh, maybe a few days from now or a week from now. But um, nothing right off the bat. I have no time to even think about stuff like that. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you expect to stay connected with these people that you met here? Yeah, definitely. Everyone seems really passionate and um, worked hard, and we came up with some good work that we're all proud of, so don't see why not. Do you guys expect to continue with this as a group? It, whether you win or not tonight? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And the um, going forward, with these, uh, what do they call them, um, startup weekends, mm -hmm. is this your first one? This is my first one. Do you expect to join these in the future? Yeah, definitely. I had a great time. Even yeah. now, I guess it's worldwide. Do you think that these? this seems kind of American? like an American innovative think tank type of thing. <laughs> uh, do you think that that will translate well to other countries and other people yeah, groups? Yeah, I mean, entrepreneurship and s startups is, you know, that's not a purely American concept. I mean, to have... Well, it's a French a word, isn't it? That's the only thing I don't like about entrepreneur. It sounds French, <laughs> I think. <laughs> okay, then we'll use startup. But, you know, every country has... They didn't, used to have business, and now they do. They got that way 
through startups. You know, everything started as a startup, and you know, startup weekend is you know an opportunity to take a great idea and you know give it some legs. Well, thanks, and good luck tonight. Thank you.